so good morning guys um i'm going to be taking you on a journey of uh, establishment of an oil palm plantation so uh the first thing we'll be doing is loading the oil palm seedling so we are here at the nursery in the boomer shop uh loading of oil palm seedling mature ones as you can see the loading is ongoing right now and you can see they are taking the seedlings into the truck so i'm going to be taking you through the process as we go on this journey of the establishment of the oil palm plantation so as you can see these seedlings they've spent uh, i think uh, nine to ten months in the nursery so this particular this particular one we are doing uh, we are doing oil palm plantation and with the perimeter fencing of uh, cashew so these are the cashew seedlings we want to be using so um just join the ride and see how we are going to be going about it so just follow us along and see the seedlings yeah wow well. So on getting to the farm, uh, the first thing we did was to take our position, uh, which is the perimeter position. So one thing in oil palm farming is that no matter how the orientation or the size of your farmland, you don't start on the boundary. You leave some space uh, apart. So that is what exactly what we did here. So if you look at this very well, you will see what we did. You will see some uh, palm seedlings already established on a straight line. So what we did was using the standard spacing of 9 meter by 9 meter triangular. So I will take you around and see, take you around the first three row we've established for you to see uh, for yourself. This is the first, this is the first citizen first oil palm seedling on this farm uh, this is number one so uh, then on the same line on the same line do nine meter uh, triangular spacing 
you, you see the second one here. You see the second one here. So, as you can see, you see some oil pump seedlings in the ground. So, this is the third one. This is the third one here. This is the third one here. This is the fourth one here. This is the fourth one here. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you is how the planting has been done. So for you to see how to plant uh, your oil palm seed. Beautifully laid out. Beautifully laid out. So, um, as you can see, we are here, the second day of the plantation establishment. So, we are taking measurements by 9 meter triangular, and you can see all the pegging. And the first rule has been successfully established. So, as you can see there, you can see the line, you can see the position of each of the seedlings. And you can see the people digging the soil before the ceiling will now go in. So you can see what is doing here. You see? Then it will now be covered up with soil. Wow. So that one is done. So then another nine meter space. It will be. This way. Uh -huh. hey, you know, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so you can see everything is being done on a straight line with a specific measurement. So you can hear what he's saying. <laughs> very, very hard working. So Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh. I see the measurement going on. Yeah. So from this point, they will measure it to another point there to mark the second point. So.
So when I tell people oil palm field establishment is not a small work, the first thing you have to do is to get rid of the vegetation on your farm. You cannot do this in the bushy farmland. The land has to be cleared. So because we'll be taking measurement, the lining, everything like that. You cannot. Uh, so these are the guys supplying the supplying the seedlings. So let me give you a closer look of how the planting in the hole is being done. This is a closer look. Oh yeah, do you want do you want? <laughs> so you tear up the bag carefully so you can see then it will go in with all the soil then you cover it up oh, wow mm. You can see. Share the way. Eh, eh, eh. You look on. Eric, we only share Lafi Boni. Eh, eh. Eh, you told me to buy the dog bar. To buy a quack bean. To share the round. One more sebo gilu round. But I share to one around. Could you see how sebo gibo come in? But one of my knee are your phone. But to buy a caju. Kaju nidi. Agbe mba. Se an pe tele yo ba rorun, eyin o ni pon. Eh eh. Bo kaju nidi gbogbo yin ti e. Gbogbo e lo gba e ko. Ana ta de se se lain e yo kan bayi. Ni o ba ka yi mo ti get e. Eh o. Na ti get e. Ta yi se lain kan bayi. Mo ni a, won ti mo se wa lowo kan. Papapa. So you can see everything is on a straight line with specific spacing and angle. Everything has to be lined out, mapped out, and pegged out. So I will show my face now. In case some people are saying we are not seeing your face, Lamlat, we want to see your face. So guys, this is my face. I'm on the farm. <laughs> so we are here in Ogbomosho. This village is Kilokolui, Alarukonla. Yeah, this village is Alarukonla in Ikoyi. It's one of the local government in Ogbomosho. So Ogbomosho is the second largest city in Oyo State after Ibadan. So Ibadan is the largest city after Ibadan. We have Ogumosho as the largest city. If I don't have, I think, is it 11 or 13 local government area? We are by Ogumosho have five big local government area. And in Ogumosho here, yeah, we are known for cashew production. Uh, we are the leading in cashew production and mango. We have the best uh, cultivar or variety, let me put it that way, of cashew and mango. So one of our greatest exports in Ubumosho is mango, then cashew. So and that is why on this farm we are doing oil palm, but we are using cashew as a, as a perimeter fence around the farm. So it's going to be a kind of a win-win situation for the for the owner of the farm. Uh, you will be taking income from oil palm, and also you will be taking income from a uh, Cashew. So I'll be switching back the camera now to give you more closer look at the work. So am I following? Oh mama, you can tutu. Oh mama can what is one of you can we? Aye.
Okay, So this is the line. We'll be taking off the line now to set it on another three roll. So everything is being done systematically with calculation. So we'll be coming here maybe three or four months after to see the development of You were. So you buy roll you do go. Do my friend. I think I'll be. 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 i
Oye ni. Ko ba ye ni wona wona si kuyun. Oye ko ma dun nu ni. Ipe we. Ko ba ko ma pe o ga ni ti mo ma o. Ko wa ni ba de be e ma te ba re ni te lo o. E ji to ni ti re. Ko ya buru ni ti mo fun lo se. Ko <laughs> 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 Lai le kerin ni ba. O ya wa na de. Ta ba ti ta ba ti mil atu si me fa mi ba. Mama ba yin te lai lonu ke to gbe o ti fe ja ni won ti eh se yo to yo kan meni Ogbe good yo ba tu me pa pe Ata mi o o ko ni Ba to di kan le Ese ese kini ipo si meji. Eh. Ese si meji. E a fi won be, a fi mo bi ta mo ba. So gradually we are coming to the end of the walk. So I will have 
love to run the video to the end of the world but i'm running only on low battery now so let me just make a few more minute video then we call it a day so i'll be making another video about shock planting shock that one will be in the studio in my in my house in the comfort of my home i'll be making that video so um Rapi, tu 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 ni fim bubang. I'm Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah.
I will look around. I don't make you know what you Oh, what class are you Papa, Papa. Oh, what can you? One, two, three, four. 